All right, this is uh, the Apostle of Hustle coming back with another video for you. Uh, Going to take a look at what I got at garage sales over this weekend. But before we do that, I want to uh, go through some of the things that I sold that I picked up last weekend. Um, I actually forgot to put this in uh, the haul video. But anyway, I get crazy there. Hey, I forgot to put this in my video last week. Uh, I it was a shaver that I picked up uh, for twenty nine, and I sold it. I sold it. I picked it up. <laughs> I I uh, paid a dollar for it, and I sold it for twenty nine ninety five with four ninety five shipping. Uh, let's see, what day did I pick that up? Where's the shaver? Picked it up on four twenty six, so it didn't didn't and it sold on five one. Didn't last too long. Okay. Uh, what we got here? All right, shortwave radio, seven ninety five with uh, thirty two ninety five, thirty two ninety shipping. I, I picked that up the same day. I picked that up the same day. Shortwave radio, four twenty six, and then the next one here, uh, Fisher Price Airport. I didn't think this would sell that quickly. I picked it up on four nineteen. It sold on five three. I paid twenty dollars for this, and I oh yeah, just before I remember, I also paid twenty dollars for the shortwave radio too. So, so I got some pretty good profit of those items. Now let's see, here's, here's the uh, Fisher Price nineteen seventy two uh, little little people airport, and uh, let's see here, what else we got? This here was another item I sold this weekend. I have had this for the longest time. I picked this up at a garage sale last year, last summer. Um, $19.95, $8.95 shipping on it. I have no idea what I paid for that thing. But anyway, that's what sold over the weekend, so I just wanted to kind of show you that uh, some of the stuff I picked up, you know, it's already out the door. Less than a week, it's gone. So uh, pretty happy about that. Anyway, uh, so let's move on and let's uh, take a look at what I picked up this weekend. All right, so let's take a look at what I got this weekend. All right, let's see here. Ten. Oh, let's see. I paid ten dollars for this uh, Viewmaster. Got the original box. Um, it is missing the bulb. I'm gonna have to get a bulb for it. Uh, got the. It's got the manual with it and everything. I got a bunch of bunch of things with it. Let's see what we got here. Rudolph the Red Nosed Reindeer shines again. Get out of here. Snow White and the Seven Dwarves. Or Dwarves? Or dwarves? I don't know. <laughs> Huckleberry Hound. Uh, Christmas Carol. Uh, the Birth of Jesus, Storybook Land, Wisconsin Dells, kind of cool, Wild Animals of the World, uh, Hawaii, no, Bambi, Hawaii, <laughs> Walt Disney's Bambi, I thought that said Hawaii at first, Walt Disney's Bambi, <laughs> The Easter Story, okay, and uh, Lassie and Timmy. These are all the viewfinders, and then there's one here. I don't know what that is. Um, but anyway, that's what I got with it. So we'll see. I don't know what I can get for that just yet. I got some cars. I paid $0.25 cents a piece for these. Uh, this is the only Hot Wheel out of a whole bunch. I don't know what these are all worth, if anything at all. They're probably just junk. These two are made in China. This is a Matchbox. I don't know. We'll see. This one could be worth something. I'd have to look it up, though. I got a couple Wii games, which I'm going to put in with my whole lot. I paid a dollar a piece for these things. Not much, you know, no big deal. Uh, let's see what we got here. I got I saw a lot of children's books, you know, so I picked a couple more up because, you know, why not just add to the collection? I paid, uh, I think I paid 50 cents a piece for these. So a dollar into them. This is a cookbook from 1958. This is a 27th edition. This thing is... Uh, yeah, 27th edition. 
When did they start? First edition, 2,500 copies. Uh, 1931, it looks like, right? 1931, yeah. Anyway, pick that up. Probably won't get a whole lot for it. Maybe like nine bucks at the most. Um, this year I paid five dollars for. I got to test it yet. I it should work. It looks like it was in pretty good condition. Uh, I'll probably I'll probably sell it for about. I probably make about. I'll probably sell it for about thirty dollars. So I'll make a little bit of money on it. Not a whole lot. I bought these just because this thing actually works. This is a Fisher Price. I mean, I only paid a dollar for it. It's old, it's dirty, it's nasty, but, you know, it still works, believe it or not. The damn thing still works. <laughs> and then this here is from 1948, and, you know, again, it's it's beat up, it's nasty, it's a little damaged, but, you know, if you're looking for old stuff like that, you can sell it for a little bit. I mean, I'll pay a buck a piece for these, so no big deal. And then, okay, so let's move over to this here. I paid 50 cents for this. Last year, I tried to sell this thing. <laughs> and I sold it. I don't remember what it was, but I went to test it again before I, before I was going to ship it out. And it did not work. So, you know, I mean, it wasn't a huge sale, but it was still, you know, something. So I decided, you know, I'm going to take my chances again. I got a new one here. And uh, hopefully I'll have a little bit better luck with this one. This one's actually got a power supply with it. So hopefully I will have a little better luck this time. All right, and the last two things that I picked up this weekend were a pair of uh, X Element leather boots, steel-toed boots. Paid a dollar for those. And then I got this box of, like, cosmetic samples for free. So I'm going to try and just kind of lop them up. Hopefully I can sell something. I don't know. Who knows what I'll do with those. But anyway, that's all I got this weekend. And it uh, wasn't a great haul. But, hey, it's better than nothing. All right, so until next time, I will talk to you later.